button pressed. Oh, right. Be sure to look out for the playlist, everybody. But here we go. On to Blackwood. And this is going to be episode one so far. Prologue has been recorded just previously. And yeah, like, subscribe, everything. And we are now going off to Leowin, which is the very start of Blackwood. So hopefully you enjoy. And. Oh, I really want to get that because it's right there, but no. So tempting, but not. Blackwood is down here, so we are now off to here. Off we go. Hopefully, get a nice little treatment. Look at that. Ooh, interesting Imperial Castle. That does look like it's Imperial City ish. Sure. Yeah, so, hopefully, you enjoy it as we discover it together. No achievement for coming? No? No? Okay. Hello, sir. You there. The Ivory Brigade has need of you. I'm actually looking for... Evelyn? Uh, no. I forget her name already. How did I forget her name? Just like a moment, a second. Matter of moments. Okay, what do you want? You look like you've got your wits about you. Care to Do make I? a bit of extra gold working for Leowin's Ivory Brigade? I've been asked by my captain to find someone who can handle themselves. We need help with a delicate situation. What's the situation? Deadly secrets. Assassins. Murder. Now apparently a counselor has gone missing. Oh, no! Between the war, bandits, and cultists. The Ivory Brigade is like the Nord that tries to plug a leaking cask of mead, only to realize he doesn't have enough fingers. What do you need me to do? Talk to my commander, Captain Rian Lior. You can find him just outside the city gates, trying to appease some of the nobles. Tell him I sent you, and he'll put you right to work, I'm sure. I'll go speak to Captain Rian Lior. Quite his name already. Oh dear. This is off to a great start, everybody. <laughs> off to a really good start. Oh, I was going to quickly check Blinking while my Discord I had um, some messages come up before this, and I completely forgot to check before I started recording, so just bear with me just two minutes. I'm just going to quickly send a message to them back because it's probably a good idea. Hang on. Um, oh. Oh, bad wagon? Band wagon. <coughs> Right, sorry. Back to what we were doing. Now, he said to the main gate. Oh. For some reason, I thought I recognised it, but I don't know. Hang on. Layout. Is this a uh, undaunted? No, it's a uh, battleground. Probably just a battleground. Okay. Da 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 da. Around the pathway. There you go. Oh, they've got bears here. Okay. Horsey, lion. You have my word. If the counselor is in Leowin or the surrounding countryside, the Ivory Brigade will find her. You there. A moment of your time, please. Hello. Not now, citizen. Can't you see I have my hands full at the moment? I'm sure a guard or one of my brigadines can assist you. Excuse me, you just called me, so excuse me, don't say not now, citizen. Thank you very much. I know Evilly Sharp Arrow. Interesting. She arrived a short time ago with a tale straight out of a mystery novel. She said that Emperor Leovic's former steward had been murdered by the Dark Brotherhood, killed over some secret pertaining to the Longhouse Emperors. I was with Evilly when we found the steward's body. Ah. Then you must be the associate she was waiting for. She'll be glad to hear that you've arrived. Emily presented Emily. her evidence to Councillor Leviticus. That the members of the Elder Council were in danger. He decided the threat was credible. 
Where's Everly now? Counselor Leviticus has kept her close, while the two of them try to make sense of this so-called secret. I have yet to be made privy to the details. With Jirik's disappearance, I'll send Everly to check places the Counselor frequents in the city. Oh, it's Jirik that disappeared, not Everly. Oh, not Everly. Um, Leviticus. Okay. Not now, citizen. Can't you see I have my hands full at the moment? I'm sure a guard or one of my brigadines can assist you. Okay, what's that? I heard you were looking for help. Brig Brigadine Antonius sent me. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Leowin's problems are legion, and now the Wood Elf Archer's predictions seem to be coming true. Damn these old Imperial secrets. Counselor Jirik has disappeared, and the Ivory Brigade is already spread too thin for my liking. Tell me more about this Wood Elf Archer and the Imperial secrets. The Wood Elf, Everly Sharp Arrow. She brought news that the Dark Brotherhood was targeting like members of the Elder Council. All because of some secret of the Longhouse Emperors. We took her warning seriously, but Jirik refused Brigadine protection. You think the Dark Brotherhood harmed Counselor Jirik? With that guild of assassins, I'm not sure what to think. But Jirik is missing, and I don't have enough Brigadines at the ready to conduct a proper search. You look capable. So, care to earn some gold and help us determine the Counselor's fate? I'll help find Counselor Jirik. Here, let me update your map. These are places Jirik visits during her daily routine. If something befell her, uh, it happened somewhere I along this path. was a male name. Meanwhile, I have Everly Sharp Arrow checking locations in the city. She was very eager to help. What else can you tell me about Ca Counselor Jirik? Counselor Jirik was a member of the Imperial Elder Council, back when we still had an empire. Now her title is mostly ceremonial. But she continues to assist the Legates by serving as an intermediary with the local nobility. The Legates? Since the collapse of the Empire and the dissolution of the Elder Council, Leowin has become an independent city-state. Countess Caro sits on the throne, but the Chamber of Legates governs the city. You have a Countess, but the Legates are in charge. I suppose the Countess is technically the highest authority in Leowin, but she leaves the administration of the city to the Chamber of Legates. Leviticus... Another former council elder leads this august body, along with Tabezako and Amhalu. Tell me about the locations you marked on my map. Councillor Jirik is a creature of habit. Her daily routine is to stroll along the river and stop to read near a cave across the way. While Everly Sharp Arrow examines spots the councillor frequents in the city, you should check these locations. Tell me more about the situation here in Leowin. On paper, Countess Caro rules Leowin. But in practice, the Chamber of Legates governs the city. Which we've already established. Legates to Bezako and Amhalu, and Councillor Leviticus. They handle day-to-day -day tasks. Me? I'm commander of the Ivory Brigade, Leowin's militia. You mentioned your soldiers were stretched too thin? Indeed. Since the fall of the Empire, the Ivory Brigade had to redouble its efforts to replace the Imperial Legions. We maintain active defenses in the north to keep the ongoing war at bay. But we have our hands full with refugees, bandits, and such. Ongoing war? The Three Banners War. Ah. Let the alliances fight over the Ruby Throne as long as they leave us in peace. I just wish I had more soldiers to spare for this new threat that Everly Sharp Arrow brought to our attention. And we've already gone down that route, so we're not going to go down that route again. Obviously did it in the wrong order. God damn it. Right. Okay, so... You didn't want me to go into the city, so you don't get to see it today. Haha, <laughs> unless we get there later on in the episode. But right now, he wants me to check out the river. Oh, but there's a way shrine there. Oh, whatever. Down the river we go! But there is also a quest right here. There's a dell. What is this? Hello. Ooh, don't new things look interesting? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! What are you? Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha! Run away! Nobody comes. 
comes out of Crypt of Hearts alive. Nobody. How'd you do it? Legend Veyond. Yeah, so. Crypt of Hearts alive. Oh, I came out of Crypt of Hearts alive. Not only that, I think I even got the no death one, so woo! Oh, well, that'll be no, no, you that look will be like a hearty soul. Unconcerned with the prospect of death by trick, trap, or misadventure, how do you feel about helping a defenseless scholar from Gideon unearth a little history from Undertow Cavern? Oh, and can you swim? Tell me what you need. Have you heard of Phalavon the Magnificent? He was a famous Nibbanese Minotaur hunter, but his final resting place was lost to time. After years of searching, I think I finally found the site of Phalavon's mausoleum. Why do you need my help? I hope to recover proof that this is Phalavon's tomb. His armor, helm, and sword would do nicely. But I didn't get far before I found the cavern overrun with goblins and minotaurs, and parts of it are flooded. I'll pay you well to help me. I'll help you search the cavern. No one in Leowin realizes that Undertow Cavern is the final resting place of a great hero. Let me secure my belongings and I'll meet you inside. Time to grab the bull by the horns and wade right in. <laughs> Why do you think this is where Phelan is buried? Oh, Phelavon is buried? I found accounts of Phelavon's burial in a shining mausoleum on a hill outside Leowin. He was laid to rest with his arms and armor, relics of his many victories. This is the place, but goblins infest the caverns, and minotaurs too. I'm curious about these relics we're after. You would be, I suppose. Well, Phelavon the Magnificent had a golden helm. He wore armor of impervious mail, and he wielded a sword of exceptional sharpness. Tell me about Phelavon's armor. The stories say that Phelavon had the most beautiful mail, impervious to sword, arrow, and spear. We don't know much about armor of his era, but he was known as the Magnificent. I can only surmise his armor was quite splendid. You said Phelavon had a really sharp sword? Phelavon's sword was so sharp, it was said to be able to cut the air itself. No, that isn't right. I suppose any sword will cut air. Ah, that's it. This one could cut through armor-like air. That's what I was told. Can you tell me about Phelavon's helm? As I understand it, the helm was a gift from the Lord of Leowin in gratitude for Phelavon's many heroic deeds in Blackwood. The stories say it was fashioned in the shape of a roaring dragon's face. Ooh, look at that. Is it possible the details have been exaggerated over time? Well, it has been many hundreds of years. I suppose Phelavon's arms and armor might not be much to look at now. But in any condition, they would be of immense historical value. I simply know it. You mentioned goblins and minotaurs. I suppose goblins aren't much of a surprise. They infest many caves in this region, although I had hoped I wouldn't run into any. The minotaurs I didn't expect. None have been seen so close to Leowin in centuries. So where did these minotaurs come from? That's the very question I was wondering about. Wherever they came from, these minotaurs seem very hostile. Enraged, even. I've heard Whoa. all kinds of fighting inside. I think they're angry at the goblins. Do minotaurs and goblins get along? I don't see a shiny mausoleum here. That's because it was swallowed by the earth. One night, 700 years ago, people living nearby heard a terrible sound. When they came to look in the morning, they found that the whole mausoleum had fallen into the caves underneath the hill. Why did the Nibbanese build the mausoleum here? Because the caves beneath this hill were the site of Phelavon's last and greatest battle. The mausoleum was a monument to his victory, as well as his tomb. Until Undertow Cavern swallowed it up anyway. Okay, right, you've spoken to, all the dialogue's done, into Undertow Cavern. Ooh, mud crabs in here? Okay. Maybe? Maybe not? Picture suggests it. We'll find out, I suppose. There's a bit of a low roof, isn't it? Okay. Just the sort of place goblins love. Darksome, dank, and foul. Okay. Left or right? We'll go right. What is this? Can I loot that? No, it's a wall. Haha, <laughs> it's a wall. I can't loot a wall. I'm going to kill you! Yeah. 
goblin trash this way yeah okay 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 um, I should make sure I loot everything here because I could probably come across some really nice furnishing patterns I'd imagine so you are going to have to deal with my inventory problems earlier oh it's a trunk there's a book the last battle of Valavon Vero or Vero I don't know Wait, let's get on anyway screw the apples but I'll kill the goblin I killed that goblin aha sudden pitch and scratch oh, ha, ha. rubbed it the wrong way ah. um hmm Minotaur! You're tankier than the goblins. Okay. Craft point. Oh, that was a trunk. I thought that was just a barrel. Okay, what am I looking for here? Ooh, is that his armor? I think that's his armor. Phelavon's armor. Can I put it on if it's going to be impervious? I want to wear it. armor shown by the light of moons or sun. It's just too bad Minotaurs are enraged by shiny objects. Oh. Well, then they eradicate the Minotaurs, and then there you go, sorted. You can have it on show. And then that seems cruel to the Minotaurs. Can't wipe them out just to make something shiny. Just make a museum inside the town. Get it, you know, take it away. No, I no, I don't want to talk to you. Don't want to talk to you. Sorry, I've spoken to you outside. Oh, you know. We're swimming. Swimming, everybody. Swimming. Can she swim? She was under the water. She swam better than I did. We go again. She's swimming with me. No, she doesn't swim. No, she just disappears. Coward. Get your feet wet. Hearing chatter. I heard some chatter. talk to her please do not keep giving me the e to her no oh there's the sword very sharp I sword i can just picture this sword cleaving savage minotaurs a pity it's dull beyond use now dull beyond use well how is it the sharpest oh, well, i suppose they never said it wasn't ever ending sharpness this? Oh, a chest. I don't mind if I do. Sorry about that. Being stupid about the chest this time. Come on, give me a set item. Aww. And one save for my sticker book. Oh, that one. That was empty. Okay. Back out we go. Where we came. Oh, backpack. How did I miss this? Okay, nothing in it but water. Uh, I want furnishing patterns. Expensive ones that I need to learn, please. That would be nice. That's purple. Ooh. What's this? Oh, a chocolate. Blue one, but I know it. Damn it. <laughs> La. I'm sure I'm hearing talking. I'm sure I'm hearing voices. <gasps> Maybe I'm going crazy. Could be going crazy. Okay, let's take his helmet. Imagine how many times this helm saved the heroic Balevon's head. Except that last time, obviously. I'm just so worried that something's gonna spawn. I don't really want to talk to you with all that dialogue over there. But I suppose I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Come here, back to the altar. Hello. Hmm. The armor, helm, and sword are all badly damaged. Skeptics might say these could have belonged to anybody. We need to find Phelavon's Horn of Magnificence to settle the question for good. But where is the horn? Why isn't it here? 
You didn't say anything about a horn before. Balavon's horn of magnificence was his greatest treasure. My grandmother told me he made it from the horn of a Minotaur lord. It had a brass cap inscribed with an intricate design. When Balavon blew it, echoes rang from the hills for seven days. Your grandmother told you about Balavon. I thought you were a scholar. I am, mostly. But yes, I have a personal stake in this. Balavon is a distant ancestor. I grew up on stories of his battles, his magic horn. Oh, could this be about the horn? What about the horn? Grandmother told me the horn's note drove Minotaurs mad with fear and rage. But sometimes the horn called Minotaurs to battle even when no one sounded it. Maybe the Minotaurs are here because of the Horn of Magnificence. Are you sure your grandmother wasn't just making up a story? Oh, I wondered about that too. House Vero mostly died out long ago, but they were certainly real enough. We can trace a relationship to Thalavon's line on my mother's side. There is truth to my grandmother's tales. I'm certain of it. Does anyone else believe your grandmother's stories? No. No one outside my family remembers Thalavon. Almost all of the histories that recorded his deeds have been lost. Even his mausoleum vanished. But now I'm close to the proof that Thalavon really existed and was a great hero. Oh god. I hope this has a disappointing ending for her. Because that would just be so... so... satisfying. <laughs> Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. But you can join your friend on the floor. There you are. Use as well. Come on. On the floor. Because I want to loot everything. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Give me the black, black backpack. Yeah. Did you hear that? Balavon's horn. I hear it. That's what it's almost sound like. You're not gonna come for a swim? It's just a paddle. Just a trench. Trench with some muck. Nothing to loot here. Ow! Ow! That shield hurt, you stupid buckler. Head's been removed. That's charming, and his sword's been cut in half. As if to say, yeah, it's not sharp now. Trunk. Trunk it looks. Hi, shaman. Oh, another chest. Thank you so much. Don't mind if I do. And an intermediate one. Higher chance of getting the set piece for my sticker book. Come on. Give me something like rare, like just straight away, like a inferno stuff. I got gauntlets. Okay, okay, fine. I got gauntlets. I'm sure I heard the horn in this chamber, but who sounded it? Oh, what? The goblins are picking on the boss. Whoa. Ow. Let me pass. I'm trying to loot the bag. Thank you. Oh, it's a mini Limoniatus or whatever his name is. It's like goalpost. Bang.
Balevon's Horn of Magnificence. I'm assuming this is his grave, maybe? They're, they're all on plinths like that, so... Balevon's Horn! Just as the stories described it! Did this goblin sound the note we heard? Oh, when well, a goblin is trying to hire the Minotaurs as a personal army piece? Oh, interesting. Oh, maybe. Oh, hang on. Oh, the exit's that way. Okay. I was gonna go my way back out, but if there's an exit here, then... It looks like we can get out through here, if you don't mind getting a little wet. <laughs> it's you that doesn't seem to want to get wet. Oh, no. Dived. Brilliant. She doesn't seem to swim. I'm the only one to swim, so I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what she's talking about. No. Ooh, oh, man. You made me come out in the swamps. Oh, she's over there. Hello. Look at my pretty kitty. Pretty kitty. Hi. Finally proof of Phalevon's legend. I'll be the talk of Gideon once I bring these trophies home. And yet, I wonder... Did the goblins here cause their own troubles by meddling with Phalevon's horn? Or is it dangerous to just keep around? What are you going to do with the relics we recovered? I want to take them back to Gideon and prove, once and for all, that my family's story is true. Fame, fortune, festivities await! But if these relics, especially the Horn of Magnificence, are dangerous, perhaps I shouldn't bring them home. The computer did something. Um. Hmm. Oh God, I hate it when I get a lot of thinking about a dilemma. But if they're dangerous, this character likes to bleed into danger of people. So as long as you don't blow the horn, you should be fine. Gideon's not that far. You're right. Balevon's magnificence deserves to be remembered far and wide. I'll take these historical relics to Gideon attract and prove the truth of my family's old legends. Thank you for your encouragement. You're welcome. We may be bruised, battered, and wet, but these relics tell a magnificent story. Without your help, I'd never have learned about the fate of Balevon and the Horn. You mean I'm bruised? You Thank did fuck you. all. Oh, so I should forget your peppy shield. Visit me and Gideon sometime. I hope to see you again sometime. Although I must confess, now that I've finally found evidence supporting the legend of Phalevon, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. Find a new mystery to unravel, and just in case, don't let anyone blow the horn. Don't worry about me. I shall set out at once. And I shall neither fear, fret, nor flinch from any dangers on my road. After all, I share the bloodline of a great hero. A few generations removed, anyway. Well, we will bind this one. Just so we don't get doubles and things, so we will bind this one. And we will bind this one. Right. <coughs> Where have you brought me? So I need to go this way to investigate the cave that she likes yeah. to read. She walks down the river, but how does she get there? Daedric portal. That doesn't bode well. Can I get it from here? Oh shoot, no I hit the rock so splash. Got my fur wet. But then again I just come from a swampy flooded delve so yeah. Hi. Do I want to use that? No. Why is that there then? I didn't come in that, did I? No, what? We'll have a look at that in a moment. Just in case I can't get back. Oh, the picnic's been. Okay. Letter from Foul Lupus. I hope this letter finds you in good health and better spirits, my old friend. Though years have passed since I was Emperor Le Leovic's steward, and you were one of his elder counsellors, I fear that the secrets of the Longhouse Emperors continue to haunt us. 
You and other members of the Elder Council are in grave danger. Actions that you and your colleagues performed over the years for the Longhouse Emperors have inadvertently made you targets for an as yet known entity or entities. Of course, we both know that you were only following orders, performing your duties. Unfortunately, those who hunt you care little for the reasons. They only want to eliminate everyone who may know even the tiniest fraction of Emperor Leovic's final secrets. I wish I could provide you with more information, but for now this is all I know. If I learn anything further, I will be in touch. For now, please be cautious and sleep with one eye open. Foul lupus. Search along the river. Well, before I go to that bit, I am going to have a look at this Deadlands. What is this? I am going to pick up this Ancestor Silk, because why not? It's right there. Hi, what are you doing here? Hello? It's a public dungeon. Am I assuming I need to do this in this order? Can I solo this? The very air of this realm will destroy you! Ooh, look at you floating over there. Is there no quest giver for this? Hello? No quest? Is it further in? Maybe? of a watcher. I don't see one. Oh, look at that beautiful wolfie! No, I don't want to be in here if I don't have a quest, or if I'm not going to get one. much to loot here. It's a bit disappointing in that department. Now what? I'm gonna make quick Beth pickleware for this. Might as well. Get in my wolf form. Let's have a little look. Might as well explore, huh? Can you stand against this onslaught? Nothing to loot? No? No. Well, that's just me. Anything 
to loot, no? Stingy? No? My werewolf timer people, come on! Valley of the Cataclyst. Cataclyst. No, it was Clyst, it was Cataclyst. My werewolf timer, I'm gonna run out. No! I'll talk to you from now. Oh. I want to crush you personally. Coming fire consume you. Give me, let me eat, let me eat. I need to eat. My werewolf timer. Let me up. Everyone's Just here. <laughs> Everyone's here. Oh my god. Any more? Hello? Over there. Um, I'm confused. <laughs> He's just staying in his pool because try. we keep doing too much damage. Interesting. Okay, that's on that. Dungeon done. Okay. Really? I thought there was more islands, maybe. No way. Oh, I lost my werewolf. What? Run around like a little woofy. Okay, whatever. Interesting gathering. this? Oh, Impresario. Oh, let me think. Yeah, injury convergence. Okay. in humility, Wanderer. Please, stay to hear my story. Have you heard of the Sulzon tribe? Vicious and unrelenting, they wander to the swamps, attacking any they find. Now, they've fallen upon my home in Rock Grove. What's going on at Rock Grove? A horde of those impure Limpins raided the old city and seized the Zanmir. They captured so many of my kin or return them to darkness. Their purpose hides from us. But our stone talker claims he recognized their leader, Basse. What did you... Why did you request my attention? With a stiff tail and bared abdomen, I beg for your aid. Please, gather a force of your strongest allies. Travel to Rock Grove and drive out the Sulzan. Defend what is left of my tribe. And they will surely reward you. I can rid Rock Grove of the Solzan invaders. My gratitude fills every pond in the marshes. Perhaps with your aid, what remains of my home can be salvaged. Rock Grove lies southeast of here, or you may take my cart. 
Speak to Imaka when you arrive. She can offer you the necessary guidance. Do you know any more about this attack? We heard rumors of Sulzan crawling through the marsh, but thought perhaps they might spare us. Foolish. The attack was swift and ruthless. Our warriors held them off, while some escaped and rallied at the city entrance. They gave no sign of their purpose? Their goals hide among the worms they call friends. I know little of Sulzan desires, and had hoped never to learn. Stories drift to me about brutal sacrifices, bloodshed for the glory of chaos. But who can know the truth? Tell me about Rock Grove. Ah, perhaps you have not traveled that far south. The old city is a sight to behold. The finest mud puddles in this region, and the stonework amazes any who visit. Most of us live in a village just outside so that we can keep an eye on the Zonmir. What is special about the Zonmir? It stands upon large vents of scalding steam that occasionally burst into large geysers. It's a rare occurrence, but they can threaten the structures of the Zonmir. Some of us work to keep it intact when an eruption damages the stone. You said I should speak to Imaka. Who is that? One of our village guards. Though now she may be our sole remaining defender. She protected us as we ran from the initial attack. After we found safe haven, she sent me to call for aid. And you mentioned a stone talker. Who is that? Dust on scales. The sinew and veins of our tribe. Mm -hmm. He serves as conduit between the Hiss and Rock Grove Zonmir. He knows a great deal about the old city's secrets. You should seek out his guidance. I shall. Is that a dun oh, it's a 12 player trial group. Well, unfortunately guys, I am going to drop that because I cannot do that at this moment. But that will be in the future, I'd imagine. But at least we've spoken to him and we know what he says, so... Fine. It's just strange to get a trial quest up here, I thought, but that's fine. I've just got to investigate the rest of the river. Go down the river. Anything. Ooh. Hi. Find the cave. Over here. Hi. <laughs> Over here, in the box. Oh, backpack. Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, water. Ooh. Great. Oh, screw that. I don't care about that too much. Okay, the cave. The cave. The cave. Oh, hang on a minute. That's very promising right there. No. Find the cave. Completed. Check. Syrian for signs of life. Is that what it's called? Syrian. Ah, okay. Ooh, another letter, everybody. Letter to Councillor Leviticus. Chief Councillor Leviticus. While our time serving together on the Imperial Elder Council is long past, I still consider you to be both a colleague and a friend. I know I ignored the warning the Wood Elf brought you. Refused to believe that old secrets still held any power, any danger. I was wrong. I received a letter from Farrell Lupus today, which, if the reports of his death are accurate, he must have sent before he was murdered, and I fear that I am being followed. I thought I caught a glimpse of a dark figure watching me from the rocks during my island walk this morning. I was so rattled by the sight that I dropped Farrell's letter. Didn't realise I had lost it until I had almost reached the cave. This must, be, this must be related to a project Emperor Morica gave me some 20 years back. He needed caretakers for some sort of storage vaults and I procured them, set up the contracts, paid the costs, but that was so long ago. 
Even as I write this, I can feel the noose drawing tight. If you receive this, tell the others. Convince them to heed the warning and accept your assistance. The secret of the Longhouse Emperors. I think this time it really will be the death of me. Huh. Councillor Jurek. Apologies. I heard you stumbling about and thought it might be Councillor Jirik. Who are you? Oh, no one important, I assure you. I'm simply one of the Councillor's aides. I help her with paperwork mostly. Run errands, that sort of thing. Captain Rian sent me to find the Councillor. He thinks she might be in danger. She initially refused the Captain's offer, but she received a letter that made her... Uh, uneasy. Last I saw, she was headed back to the city by way of the Eastern Gate. But she never returned to her manor, so I came to look for her. Please, find her. <sighs> On the way. Oh, Syrian. I think that's a done. Okay. On the way back. Oh. Hang on, there's a quest here. Which led me here quite nicely. Did I aggro with them? Yes, I did. So they go into the water for a moment. <coughs> Leave me alone. Thank you. Pirate treasure's message. Oh, lucky adventurer. Can you get rid of all that, please? Our chances are non-existent. The blue Wamasu outpowers us, and we're riding low on the water. I refuse to let my treasure fall into the hands. I leave that honor to you. Across the harbour from Leowin lies a waterfall. Follow the water to its source. Progress nightly... No. Ninth... Ninety? Oh, progress ninety paces. What the? Fucking idiot. Progress ninety paces southwards from the spring. An old fortress I once had the honour to raise to its foundations waits for you. Dig by the base of the tree that stands in the northeasternmost corner. Happy hunting, my friend. Whatever happens, make sure the world never forgets your name. Volda, Terror of the Topol Bay. La 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 la, okay, fine. That's okay. Um, do I should go down or should I go up? Let's go down first. Let's get this one done and go up. Hold on, everybody. Hold your horses, we shall go and get some treasure. Is it a waterfall? Hmm. Oh. Is that the waterfall? Follow it to its source. 90 paces south. A ruin that they ain't got to raise. I'm assuming... Something there. No, there's a raise there, so maybe that. North eastern corner. Okay. Oh, heavy sack. Don't mind if I do. So east and north. North eastern corner. Here. Dig here? No. Inside the ruins and a tree over here. Ooh, that looks promising. Oh, look at that. Ill-gotten gold waits beneath the pile of dirt. Of loose dirt. Captain Voldar's hammer. Complete the quest. Da 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 Everybody is done. Let's go back to north now. I don't know. I'm not going to go through a loot all this. No way. Can you get up there, kitty cat? Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh no! Oh, chunk there. Hello. Is there? There might actually be a way up there. <laughs> I'm just blind. I'm out. Right, let's go look for Councillor Jurek. Move, kitty cat. Get those legs running. Chest. Thank you. I don't.
don't mind if I do. I feel like I want more food. I'm very peckish. I had my dinner just before this, and now I'm very peckish. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I lost my momentum. I wonder if that's what they were gathering now. They were further along yeah, the quest. Someone, ah. Oh, Councilor Jurek! Hello! Hi, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, hello! Mysterious note. <gasps> no, 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 no! I refused to believe, but Faro, Leviticus, they were right. What happened to you, Councillor? Well, I've just seen the fucking note, so I know what happened. I was attacked. An assassin. You must warn the others, the counselors. Leofix's secret, it, it will be the death of us all. Counselor Jerick! Oh no! Counselor Jerick! Damn, we're too late! Damn it. Looks like we were both too late. Everly. It's just like I expected when we found that list with all the counselors' names on it. I hate being right when somebody dies. Glad to see you made it here, by the way. Did you happen to see who killed her? I didn't see who attacked her, but there's a note beside her body. The mark of the Dark Brotherhood, just like Faro Lupus. Remember I said I was going to find Leviticus? Well, I did. And turns out, he's the head of the city's Chamber of Legates. Yeah. I just wish another person hadn't died because of this damn secret. Remind me about the secret? The secret of the Longhouse Emperors. It has something to do with the four ambitions of Mayrun's Dagon. I think they're Daedric weapons, but that's all we know so far. Remember, I was working for Faro Lupus. He sent me to find that strange tome. I found a letter to Ca Chancellor Jurek from Faro Lupus. It warned her that she was in danger. Right, and we found that list with all the counselors' names on it. Faro's too. The one that suggested they all knew something about the ambitions. Since Farrell was murdered, I figured the others were in danger too. Looks like I was right. Do you know where the rest of the councillors are? Let me have your map. This is where councillors Valeria and Sophus were last time I checked. Go warn them. Convince them the threat is real. Then meet me at Councillor Jirik's manor in the city. Maybe we can find something more about this secret. I'll go warn the councillors, then meet you at Jirik's manor. I'll get the city guards to come and gather the councillor's body. Got it. Got she it. shouldn't just be left out here. Then I'll head to Councillor Jirik's manor. When you're done checking on Councillor Valeria and Councillor Sophus, meet me there. Walk me through what you know so far about this threat against the councillors. Like I said, it all started when I found that strange tome for Faro Lupus, an you Emperor just go around in circles. journal. It was in code, but I got it translated. Sent me to a few hidden Imperial caches where I learned that the Longhouse Emperors had a secret. Right, the secret concerning the four ambitions of Mayrun's Dagon. Right, but it turned out I wasn't the only one trying to learn more about the ambitions. A group of cracked acorns called the Order of the Waking Flame. Fanatic Mayrun Dagon cultists. Had to put arrows in more than one of those bastards. So why is the Dark Brotherhood murdering the counselors? I guess someone hired them to eliminate everyone who knows about the secret. The question is, who? And I was told by a more or less friendly Dramora named Lyrin that the fate of our world was at stake. So of course I want to figure this all out. Tell me more about the strange book you found. So Faro Lupus hired me to retrieve a book from a retreat once used by the Longhouse Emperors. He never told me what it was, I'm impressed. and he died before I could ask. The book is... weird. It has weird pages and weird markings, and I can't read a word of it. You never learned anything else about it? Not much. Farrell's partner said he planned to use it to make things right, but she didn't know how. And it's Daedric, I think. I will say, carrying it is kind of a burden. And I've been having strange dreams. But I don't want to talk about that. My god, she just repeats herself. She drops on her head as a child. I mean, come on. Ugh. I know the purpose of it, I know the reasoning for it, but still. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna go down there. Warn Council Valeria. So she do I go through the city or do I go round the city? It looks like I should be going through the city. I 
happy to go through, so one gets to have a little look at the Leowin City. Woo! The standalone city. cute buildings, I like this. Got a pretty little city. Oh, I like this building. Really pretty. Oh, is this the gate out? Goes to the docks. Yep, that's where we want to go. I don't need to go to the pop, I need to go down the river because I need to go find this person, don't I? So, oh, there's a quest! Woo! Hello! Oh. To whoever, whomever finds me, deliver this letter and ring in my bag to Tertia Falto in. Get out the way, Leowin. Dearest Tertia, go ahead and pet it. It's just a harmless mongrel, you said. Little did I know how wrong we both were. The sorry looking mutt was an omen, my sweet, and the harbinger of my demise. I can still picture that perfect night in Leowin, your face radiant, repleasant, shining in the sun as we walked along those streets. I wish, desperately wish, I could see it one more time. I wish. I wish I'd given you more, uh, given you the ring in my pocket and proposed to you as I planned. I wish I hadn't instead reached down and tried to pet the damn dog. It bit me, of course, but that superficial wound was just the start. Naturally, I couldn't propose to you with blood gushing from my hand, so I bit my tongue, held my peace, and excused myself to the nearest healer. There, a kind Argonian bandaged my wound and provided a medical toad for the pain. Sadly, it would prove to be meagre balm for the true injury. As the sun set, I was racked by wild fever dreams. The last thing I recall was tearing off my clothing and running, howling into the night. I woke up in someone's chicken coop covered in blood and feathers. Please understand, I do this for you. Were I to see you again while under this curse, I might cause you harm. I couldn't live with myself if that happened, so I won't. I leave you the ring I never gave you. It was meant for you and no one else. Always yours. Alo Al Aloysius Falvanius. Venus. Falvianus. I don't know. Oh, but okay. Did he kill himself? Was that him there? Oh dear. Poor bugger. Hi! Knock, knock. Oh, hello. Good to see you. Fail it. I have it on good authority that I'm in danger. Of course, Counselor. Step back and state your business. I have every reason to believe that my life is in danger. If you so much as make a threatening gesture, the Brigadine will dismember you. He has very strict orders on that regard. I'm working for Captain Rion Leo. I was sent to tell you the threat is real. I was beginning to suspect as much. Very well. Tell me everything that you have learned. Leave nothing out. I want to hear it all. The Dark Brotherhood has already murdered Fowler Lupus and Councillor Jirik. Lupus? Emperor Leovic's old steward? And Jirik as well? Gods, they are targeting the Elder Council. Anything else? Tell me. The slightest detail could mean the difference between life and death. 
We think it has something to do with Leia Vic's secret, something called the Four Ambitions. The Ambitions? I heard that term once before, years ago. I must go to Tidewater Cave. I have a cache hidden there, and I need to check my records. Meanwhile, I suggest you find Jirik's files. She kept them in a hidden compartment in her nightstand. Your records include information on Leovic's secret? Possibly. I oversaw the Imperial Treasury, so my records deal with expenditures and collections. I have documents going as far back as Emperor Morikar. Possibly even Durkarach. And I know I saw that term someplace. I will see what I can find. How well did you know Councillor Jirik? Extremely well. We were rivals as well as colleagues on the Elder Council. It was that way between all of the councillors, I suppose. Her death is a tragedy, however. I will miss her. <sighs> okay. Was flowers. I thought it was chest hiding over there. I was like, what? What am I seeing? I'm going into your house. As Leah's house. Ooh, I can loot things. This is good. Hello, nice stand. Oh, the Lewin bench dirty. See what I mean? That is why you loot everything, everybody. Thank you. And I want my crafter too, so it's learnt straight away. Otherwise, that would all be going into the bank and cause me loads of issues with storage. <laughs> As per usual. So I've got something now. Okay. Oh, cabinet there. Thank you. Bananas! I got bananas in the cabinet. Okay, so. <sighs> Where am I going now? Jurix off her uh, now, I think. Oh no, I need to go. Oh, there's something north Challenge of the Dell. What you know. If you're courageous enough, all things are possible. Hi, magic person. What are you doing? I offer no mere prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. Magical sure. sensations for people of all nations for only a modicum of monetary devastation. Show me something. A coin and I would be delighted to comply. What captivates your soul? To witness light through another's brows? The soar in freedom between the clouds? To see to those wrapped in shrouds? Uh, ooh. To witness life through another's brows? The soar in freedom between the clouds? Oh, what do I want to do, everybody? Um, to see those wrapped in shrouds. That to me, just like mummies, so I'm going to go for another browse. Go, go, go. The gift of a temporary visage I give to you to experience the world with another's stoop. Sad to say, but my work is complete. Ask me for another when next we meet. What the hell is wrong with me? What do I look like? I look like a guy. What? No! That's so oh good. Man, what have you done to me? Ten minutes looking like this. What? Ah. <laughs> I could probably get rid of it, but I'm just gonna wear it. Is there gonna be anything around here, or is it worth me getting that way shrine? Hi. Oh, there's a house up here. What's this? Hello? Knock knock. Oh, anything for me to loot? Oh, steal, steal. If there's a pattern, I'm stealing it. Oh, there's Black Finn, Foreign Adventures, Part One. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, how did I miss that? Hello. Wonder if any of you guys saw that when I came in, and I was blind. But there we go. Let's have a look in here. Nope. In here? Nope. Cabinet? Nope. Oh, jewelry box. Nah. Uh, come on, give me something <coughs> very tantalizing. No. Sack? Nope. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Obsidian in the cupboard? What the? Gloves in a basket. Ugh. 
disappointing. To say the least. You can keep your water. Not interested in your water. Ooh, peace tray. Nope. Don't want any of that rubbish. Nope, no. At least now you, know, you guys know there's a house there and there's a potential chest spawn in there too. Well. I kind of think it's a bit of wilderness. Right, okay, so we're going this way. This one would have led me to the delve, so I'll probably do the delve too soon. But it's fine, I am not too worried about that. Hi, right. We weren't expecting visitors. Are you here to see the counselor? I am. Are you here to speak with Counselor Sophus? I'm Sof. afraid my husband has taken our dog for a walk. Is there something I could help you with, perhaps? I need to find the counselor. He may be in danger. Danger? What are you talking about? Oh, God. Does this have something to do with that letter? And who are you, by the way? Captain Rian sent me to check on Counselor Sophus, and I am Everclaw. Captain Rian? Oh, Rian. Well, if the Ivory Brigade sent you. My husband likes to walk our dog Chero along the tree line. Go on and find him. I'll wait here in case he returns. You mentioned a letter. My husband, Valen, received a letter from an old friend this morning. Faro Lupus, Emperor Leovic's steward. I could see that whatever was in that letter upset him, but he didn't want to discuss it, and I didn't push him. Now please, go find him. Um, I will, once I've looted all your stuff. Ooh, Krieg. Backpack. Oh. oh, book. Hello. Interview with Countess Caro. I am not reading that lot. No way. I just want some nice little patterns from some furniture and uh, yeah, nothing in there. Really? The counselors they don't really have very many possessions. Oh, hello. Nope. Okay. Nothing in it. Yeah, so excited and it just lets me so down. Ugh. Okay. Right. Along the tree line. Go, go, go. Oh, hang on. Whiffy. Hello, Whiffy. Whiffy, Whiffy, Whiffy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Find your bird. Find your dad. Get in. Find your dad. I follow you. I follow you. Go, go, go. What happened? I'm coming. I'm coming. I see the arrow. I know where we're going, but... Ooh. Okay. Oh shit. Oh no! He's dead. Oh shit. <sighs> What's taking you so long? They should. Valen! No! too late. He was already dead when I found him. You know, Valen acted strange after the letter from Faro Lupus arrived. He didn't tell me what it said, and I never asked. Before he left today, he gave me a sealed scroll, said to give it to Counselor Leviticus if anything ever happened to him. A scroll? A scroll, sealed and bearing my husband's stamp. Take it. Give it to Counselor Leviticus. I hope it helps catch whoever murdered my husband. I'll summon the town guard. They'll help me with... with my husband. Oh, Chiro. We have to watch that. I'm so sorry, Poochie. It must be really heartbreaking for you. Screw the woman. I just feel bad about the dog watching that. Ooh. Okay. Okay, she's giving me the thing, but I'm wondering if I should go to the eye first, as I see it here in the map. Hello, map. Oh, it's a house. Ooh, what's yeah. this, though? Oh, well, that's more tantalizing. It's shiny. What's in here? Oh, 
to someone. Ah! Bear, or whatever those things are, big rat things. White Stallion Inn discovered. Oh, heavy sack. Don't mind if I do. Thank you so much. Oh, a little kitty cat with me. Oh, look, little. Is that called Chase's Chickens? Oh, a little French bully. She's got loads of dogs. Look. Oh, she's got a Sephiroth. And she's got a Markov doggy. Oh, Night Howler. Looks like a Border Collie to me in some ways, but also a Husky. It's like a Border Collie Husky cross. This is, my Pampers just as big as it. Ah. Cute. Maybe I should check inside and then we can be on our way. Why is standing in? Hello, knock knock. I require a room. Hello, sir. Oh, fucking pets everywhere. Hissing cats and big ass massive dog. Look at that beautiful one. Oh, it's so cute. Hello, gorgeous. Lugo. Beautiful little doggy. Oh, it's a little thingy cat with big ears. Oh, another one hiding in there. <gasps> so many pets. Oh, I so envy you. I would love to have loads. Oh, another one there too. Bloody hell. They're bloody everywhere. Oh, and a great thing standing up there for some reason. Is that a cat? It is a cat. Hello, yo, you could just do. Oh my god, listen to you. I want to pet them all. So many wiggies. Oh, the inn. I like the white, the white stallion inn. I love it. Love it. Oh, my favorite place is little cats and dogs. Oh, shit. Can't do the stairs properly. Pretty. Okay. Right. Got distracted a bit there. So on we go to try and get uh, to Jurek's chambers and Lovicus? Lovicus. Loveticus. Uh, someone. <laughs> I forget the name. It's such a weird name. Nearly went into there. Need to go into the town. Can I go around behind there? Because I can't be able to run around. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Through the main gate of Leowin. Now I can get into this uh, way shrine, probably. Leowin. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you don't look dodgy at all. Ooh, oh, look at those windows. Hello. Hello. Mm. Traveler's Guide to Leowin. Well, so there's a quest over this way. Hello, everybody. I'm new here. I'm an adventurer that's looking for all your barrels and sacks. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah. You didn't hear me say that. Secret. Secrets. Oh, maybe it's a Mage's Guild quest I'm seeing. Uh, no, maybe it's a housing. That's Sweet a Mage's Guild Captain one. Blackheart, thank the Divines for brave souls like you. I don't know what you are, actually, quest-wise. Oh, are these dailies? Does Ooh, daily jobs. Around creepy caves sound like your idea of a Work good for hire and lay when troubles plague the people of Blackwood. You. If Wanna you count yourself, yourself among the bravest of adventurers, they are willing to face untold dangers in the pursuit of golden glory. Then the Chamber of Legates has a job for you. Seek Servatius Leon Toulon in the city of Leowin for details. Okay, well. Who is it? It's you! Hello, Sir Vithbathius. So many new faces in the city. Are you here about the notice? We can use the help. If you need work and aren't concerned about risks, then we should talk. As a representative of Leowin, I can assure you that this is all above board. And what sort of work are you hiring for? Oh, no, not me personally. I work for Leowin's Chamber of Legates. These days, I'm more of an administrator. Have been since the time of the Longhouse Emperors. Speak to Dedum Joss or Britus Salanus. They hire adventurers for dangerous jobs on a daily basis. I want to know more about the kind of work they're paying for. Curiosity with a dash of prudence. 
Good qualities for an adventurer. Usually that means you'll live longer. All right. What do you want to know? Tell me about the jobs Deetum Jass offers. Deetum Joss represents Joss. business interests in Leowin that are willing to pay for an adventurer's help. These involve acquiring items or gathering components from specific locations. A single adventurer can usually handle these tasks. Tell me more about the jobs Brita Solanus offers. Terrible monsters lurk in the wilds, threatening the good folk of Blackwood. They're too much for the Leowin militia, so Brita Solanus is recruiting heroes to help. These foes are tough. You will need a group of adventurers to defeat them. All right, and how do I sign up for one of these jobs? If you prefer to work alone, see Deetum Joss. He's got odd tasks, but they pay well. If you're interested in group tasks, talk to Britta Salanus. Group work is dangerous. Bring friends. Here's a modest advance to show you that we're serious about these efforts. Ooh, nanny good. Thank you. Remember... See Deetum Joss for jobs you can handle on your own, or Britta Salanus for jobs that require groups of heroes. You will be paid handsomely for every task you complete. Hmm. You said you work for the Chamber of Legates. That's right. The Legates don't want to leave these problems to fester, and someone has to organize things. Back in the days of the Longhouse Emperors, I took up a sword and handled things myself. Nowadays, I do the paperwork and recruit help. The Longhouse Emperors? You know, the Reachman Emperors. They ruled the Empire for decades. Old Morakar kept mercenaries like me busy. But I suppose their days come and gone. I kept my job here because I knew where we kept the supplies. Okay. And <laughs> hid some bodies. Oh, dear. I haven't heard of the Chamber of Legates. Who are they? They're the ruling body of Leowin. When things fell apart in Cyrodiil, local officials Too many stepped times. up. In fact, I'm working Although I wouldn't them. call Councillor Leviticus a local official. He used to sit on the Elder Council. Strange times we live in, eh? Yeah, I guess. Right, okay. Days I'm not going to bother picking up right now, but at least I've done that quest. That's out of the road. Oh, look, a pretty way shrine. It's so shiny. Oh, what's this? What's this? Anything in there? No. Chiral Glade Grapes. What's this? Which guild is for you? Calling all adventurers, sell swords, spell slingers, and scoundrels. Do you find yourself in need of entering companions? Do you long for the kind of comadre that daring exploits make possible? Perhaps it's time you joined a guild. To explore the current listing, speak to Guild Held. Amsard. Okay. Not a hundred percent sure where that is. Is that my normal? Okay, that's for that quest. That is for that quest, and that is for count. Okay. <sighs> so many little black arrows everywhere. Um, it's one there. I ran past one here. So what are you? What do you want? Hi. Greetings. I have a message for you from Velast, mistress of Incunabula. A message for me? Indeed. She has a task for you. You'll want to speak with her as soon as you can. Um, where can I find her? My quest log is full. Sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> what? Ugh. This is Skyrim. Oh my god, I've got some daily sitting on here. Oh dear me, oh god, oh dear. Alright, I'm gonna drop these. Somerset dailies. Seven elsewhere I'll keep because I still want to do those. Reapers March, Northern elsewhere. I still technically need those and those. Oh, um, jeez, oh, Marley. Need more, right. I didn't drop that many. Greetings. In the lost awaits you at the guild hall in Volkelgard, along the southern coast of Auradon. Okay, what the... Mage's Guild. No, I'm not interested in Mage's Guild right now. Sorry, I thought you might be Mage's Guild, but you just had a different start to it. I've been ignoring everyone else for that, but now suddenly you managed to catch me. You cheeky man. Good chica! 
Um, so I saw an arrow. Okay, there's one there, but that's Comrade, the fight. A word. Yeah, see, now that I recognise. Comrade, a word. I know that's fighting guilds, so I know to ignore that. That's the crafting area. Okay. What's over here? Hello? Who are you? What do you have for me? Oh, okay. So I just want to check your wares first. Sorry, hello. Have you seen the note? If you seek companions for your adventuring, look no further. Oh. This one can help with that. What I might do is I might leave this for the next episode and I'm going to go do something else and I'm going to leave you on that cliffhanger. I'm going to get the comrades next time. Because I have other things to do here, like hand in that um, ring to this lass. Um, let's try and find this woman and give her her betrothed, well not betrothed, but her beloved's stuff. The letter and the ring. Hello! What was that? What was that? You got the lurgy? I don't want to catch a lurgy from you. You haven't got the lurgy. Hello? Just pet the dog. It's harmless. Oh, Tertia, you idiot. No wonder he hasn't... Is there something you want? I'd like to be left alone right now. I found this letter on a body in the wilderness. They said to deliver this letter and ring to you. Body? Ring? Oh, Riemann on high, what's this about? Velocius wrote this? And he's dead? This makes no sense. Howling? Chicken coop? It, it was just a mangy mutt. I don't even think it was rabid, let alone... Oh no, Velocius. You poor fool. What is it? He wasn't cursed. He was hallucinating. The toad that Argonian used to ease his pain must have been too strong for him. Velocius convinced himself he was a werewolf and he... He... This is the second worst proposal I've ever had. The second worst? I was once kidnapped by a crazed Sulzon warlord and offered the heads of my neighbors as a dowry. I'd rather not talk about it. I've had more than a dozen failed engagements in my life. Oh, bless. If anyone here is cursed, it's me. But it's not all bad news. Mm, how's that? Alosius didn't run off and leave me like half the others. He even gave his life to protect me. I've never had anyone love me that much. <laughs> is it wrong that makes me happy? Take this for delivering my betrothed's last wishes. It was kind of you. Oh, that sounds cool with um well, like a warden. I wonder if the Temple of Mara would marry us posthumously. It was his dying wish after all. Maybe I should employ a priest of Arcade for the ceremony so he can pass on without regrets. You want to marry your dead suitor? Well, why not? I've had absolutely no luck with the living and it's what he wanted. I'd rather die a widow than an old maid. <laughs> I've heard it all now. I've got a necromancer. I'll tell you what, I'll bring it back to life for you. Then you can marry him. Sorted. Oh my god, I can't argue with that. It's not like this is how I dreamed of getting married. <laughs> after being what jilted so many times, I may as well marry a man who can't change his mind. <laughs> I may not get it. But for your sake, I hope you never have to. <sighs> oh my god, beautiful. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. Carry on, go marry your dead husband. Uh, well, your dead partner. <laughs> Whatever. Who am I to judge? <laughs> fucking work for the Dark Brotherhood. I didn't even know I was murdering these fucking counselors. I mean, I didn't say a word. <laughs> oh my god, that actually tickled me. I'm actually kind of like tearing up. That was funny. <laughs> Poor fucking woman. <sighs> Oh dear me, right, I know this is a little bit short than an hour and a half, but I am going to leave it there everybody on this episode, and um, hopefully you enjoyed, and considering that was a nice little giggle at the start, I, uh, at the end, I think that is a very good place to end it there, oh my god, so hopefully you liked, hopefully you laughed, hopefully you giggled, and enjoyed everything, and remember to like, subscribe, and tune in live, it will be in the playlist, I'm being stared at by a puppy, it's because he wants his dinner, um, and yes, um, all of that jazz, uh, in the about me bit will be the Twitch, uh, same 
name it might have a zero in it though rather than an O but it's linked there anyway you follow it you can tune in live while everything unfolds and if not keep an eye on the playlist for any future episodes that will come with Blackwood so I will see you in the next video everybody good night